Okay, beautiful. I guess that evens us up. I'll show you where you can wash up. No, thanks. You'd probably have me washing up at the horse trough. I know a pump when I say one. And I say one. Well, I'll be doggone. Now, what's that daughter of ours up to? A mighty deep well. Oh, here you are. Oh, Mom, Dad, this is Mr. Kemp. Oh, how do you do? My name's Holiday. Hi. Oh, <laughs> had a little tire trouble, and your charming daughter was kind enough to offer me the use of your telephone. Why, of course. And I just know you can use some breakfast, too, Mr. Kemp. Well, that's sure mighty nice of you. I hate to impose. Oh, that, that. You come right on in. Sure. Well, thanks. I better wash up a bit first. Oh, but not here. Oh, he likes pumps. We haven't used that pump for four years since we put in the new water system. You remember? Oh, that's right. We haven't. I just bet that's why it wouldn't work. <laughs> now we both have sore arms, haven't we? Muscles. You come with me, Mr. Kemp. I'll see that you get a clean towel and a washcloth. And, and I'll you to get this with you. Mm. Well, gee, Dad, he asked for it, the smart aleck. Smart aleck? Dad, how would you like him for a hand? Him? Oh, just for a day or so until we catch up. He's no farmer. Not at the moment, anyway. <laughs> but, Mr. Twill, when have I ever failed you? The trumpet player? But I had nothing to do with that. Well, I know it was the night of the show, but mumps can happen to anyone. What's that? By Friday night. <laughs> you're joking. Oh, you're not, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I understand completely. Find a daddy. Trouble? Yeah, if I don't find a good musical act by Friday night, I'm out of a job. Are you in show business, Mr. Kemp? Talent scout. Television. We enjoy ours so much. What does he think I am, a magician? How would you like to do a little horse trading? Sorry, I've got a problem to work out. Well, maybe I know a way for you to work out of it. I don't get it. Well, look, you're looking for a good musical act, and I know where you can get one. And we're looking for a hand for a few days, and, and you look healthy. Are you interested? Uh, Carl Schroeder and his boys. Carl Shorter. Hmm, say now, I bet he would. Awfully nice boys, whole family. Go to our church, you know. Very good. Better than most of the stuff that comes out of our television set. Charlie, he's the oldest, teaches Sunday school. Let's see, there's a bass fiddle, accordion, guitar, vibraphone. That's for years, awfully good teacher. Saxophone. Well, when can I hear them? Well, now that might be a problem. Understand the boys are away. Be back Friday, though. Well, it was a nice idea anyway. But you said you had until Friday. Yep, to get an act my boss likes. Well, we can hold an audition in the barn on Friday evening. And the boss watches it through a crystal ball 150 miles away. Can't you wire him to come down here? My boss? He could stay overnight. We'd love to have him. Sure, bring him along. Oh, that's the modern man for you. No gumption, no spirit of adventure, even afraid of his boss. Oh, give me the old pioneers. They never said die. Mm. If they're no good, I get fired. As it is now, I get fired. 
So what can I lose? Okay, I'll gamble on this Schroeder combination. And the audition? And the audition. I'll wire the boss. Good. Now we come to your end of the bargain. My end? Oh, uh, the hired ant business? Oh, come now, you weren't serious about that. 